Hey you guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Motors and Blower. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today I'm reviewing a dash cam. This is a Nexpow dash cam, 4K. It's got three cameras, one forward, one in the cabin, so it can show the inside cabin of the passengers inside, and also a rear facing camera. Just like your parking camera, this truck already has a parking camera, but I wanna put it nice and high right where the bed is, so while I'm driving, I can see who's behind me. Let's unbox it for you right now. Inside the box, we have your user manual, the camera itself, this is the front facing part, this is the cabin facing part, your LED screen, and then you place your TF or SD card in here. It's not included, so I have to go find one. These are for a microphone or speakers. Here's your uh, USB, uh, mini USB insert. You don't see too many mini USB now. It's usually either micro USB or the more common USB-C. Also has a small uh, input for the long camera that you would wire all the way to the rear facing. Bracket goes on here so that you can adhere it onto your windshield. Underneath here, we have your cords. First one here is your cigarette lighter. I'm sorry, this is your rear facing camera. You would mount this on the top. And it comes with a 3M adhesive double-sided tape with the input here that you would place into the camera. It gives you a lot of wire so you can run it along the A pillar up through the roof to the rear. Some zip ties and some more uh, double-sided tape. Here's your cigarette lighter input with your mini USB that's 90 degrees so that uh, nothing protrudes upward. And this is the bracket that goes onto the mounting point here. So you would stick the sticker right there, mount it right onto the windshield. I'm gonna do some wiring now. First, let's test it and see if it works. This is my 12 volt input. As you can see, the light is on. We'll connect this to the camera itself with a 90 degree mini USB. That works. Let's find a good mounting area for this. As you can see, I already have this cheap dash cam that I got many years ago. It still works. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take this sticker, uh, this peely thing off on the front lens, as well as the screen. That way we can see what's going on. And also this one here for this lens. I'm inserting a 64 gigabyte card in here that I took from my another phone. I wish they would just give you the card. I've used a 3M double-sided tape for the bracket. It isn't exactly the same size. I wish they would cut it to the same size as the bracket. So now you have sticky stuff on the sides. You could trim it. I'm not gonna do that, too much trouble. Find a location for it and stick it on. I'm going to do the clock and the settings on this side right here. Okay, I just mounted the camera right here in the middle where I can see. Also, you can remove it if you need to adjust anything else. So I wired the camera. Now it's on top there. 
into the A pillar top down to here where I've connected an internal battery um, power source to a cigarette lighter extension because I don't want it to hang here with wires. So I put it in there. Through the A pillars here, the back camera is routed through the top uh, moldings right there. So now this camera is pointed backwards. In the camera mode, you can switch between the display. You can have in-cabin, front, rear and front, cabin and rear, or all three. Awesome. Uh, I, I don't have a rear one when I'm driving, so I'd like to just see what's happening in my rear. Very cool. So that's the next PAL, three-channel dash cam. 4k it's fantastic i'll leave a link in the description if you guys want one now i've got my front my cabin and my rear view recorded at all times whenever i drive the truck this way you'll know that if you get into an accident you can prove if it's your fault or not it's fantastic you always want one it does take a little bit of doing to get the wiring through there you have to kind of know what you're doing if you want to hide all the wires or you can simply just plug it into your cigarette lighter it's that easy thanks a lot for joining me on this weekend product review we'll see you guys next time on mowers and blowers see you guys next time on mowers and blowers